Hello there, people. This is Overleaf here on 9055, and I'm back with another Yu Gi Oh deck profile. And today, the deck profile I'll be using or well, showcasing today is called the Meletius Monsters. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think they've made any new stuff for this build, but if they did, I'd probably be adding or making a new deck profile for this, so there'll probably be a second part to this if I do update this deck. But other than that, uh, let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the Monsters first, of course. And I'm running three solo, the Meletius Songress. And the reason I'm running three of these is it's basically like a Cyber Dragon. If I control no monsters, I can special summon this monster. So it's a free special summon if I control no monsters. And my control opponent controls the monster, which most of the time they do, but if they don't, I'll just normal summon it. But, and it has to be from your hand when you special summon it. Uh, when this card is destroyed by a balance such as a graveyard, then you can special summon one Malayus monster from your deck, except for a solo the Malayus Songress, which is pretty sweet. Because when that thing is destroyed, then you can like summon your key monsters that you want. Like, for instance, you can summon like uh, my Serena the Malayus Maestra or Mozorta the Malayus Maestra. Just summon those two out with those. It's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I'm running one of each of these, so I'm running one of each of those. Anyway, moving on, uh, I'm running three, of course, of the Soprano Meletia Songress. These things are basically your polymerization on the field monster. So when these things are out and you have another monster, you can fuse with this monster and the other monster get your fusion monster out, which is pretty sweet. And another good thing is when this thing is special summon, you target one Meletia monster from your graveyard, Except for this card, and add to your hand. You can only get that effect of that once per turn. Uh, it's pretty much a fusion. It's pretty much a polymerization. So it's pretty sweet. Next, for the Meletius build, I'm running my two Satonia, the Meletius Diva. These things are basically like fusion material fodder. Like, let's say I got Soprano out, I special summon Satonia, boom. Or I just add attack points because so when they special summon all three monsters skin, 500 attack and defense, so it's like an attack boost or use or fusion. It depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, I'm only running two of it. Then I'm running, of course, the two crystal rows. Uh, this thing can be. Then once per turn, you can uh, send a Gemini Malaise monster from your deck or hand to the graveyard. And if you do this card's name, it becomes the sent monster's name. So let's say you wanted to summon like Bloom D with the Malaise Choir. And you had the crystal rose out. Then, what you could do with crystal rose is you could get rid of your Satonia or Monzata, which one, whichever one you want to get rid of. This thing becomes that thing's name, and then you can fuse your summon it, and then start fusing summoning this or the other ones that need the Maestress. It's a pretty sweet card. It's pretty much a fusion. Uh, it's pretty much like a fusion. What's it called? It the fusion tag, but it's a monster. And it can't be destroyed by battle, which is pretty sweet. And then on top of that, if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one fusion monster from your graveyard and special on this card in defense position, which you can only do once per turn. It's pretty sweet. So you can start fusion, you can easily start fusing something with this thing. Uh, last but not least, for our Meletius build, I'm running one score of the Meletius Diva. So it's a hand trap. You just send it from your hands to the graveyard, opponent attack on zero. I might run two of those. So. Uh, running one might not be like the only thing I'll be doing right now. Uh, one Tam Tam the Malayas Diva. Uh, one area the Malayas Diva because when this thing is special summon, no Malayas monsters can be targeted or uh, by card effects or destroy a battle. And then one Oprah the Malayas Diva. 23k beater for a four star chip, which is pretty decent. The only thing that sucks about it is you can't normal summon it. When you normal summon, you can't attack with it until the next turn. And then I'm running one can on Malayas Diva. Basically, special summons, so you, so you can fusion with whatever, whatever. And last, but this isn't part of the Malayas build. This is like other monsters' support cards. I'm running three Honest. The whole deck is light, so that works perfectly fine. And that's pretty much it for the monsters. Moving on to Spells and Traps. Uh, of course, I'm running the three the main card in this deck, Palmarization. Just in case you don't get the cards you need right away, then I'm running three of it. Uh, physical description, I'm running two of, so just add monster to your hand. This thing's your Rota, but for this deck, but you can only use it once per turn, so. Pretty sweet. Uh, first move with solo, if you control no monsters, I'm running two of those. 
then you can special summon a malarious monster from your deck and it has to be level 4 or lower. I can only activate one of these once per turn. I can't special summon any monsters this turn. I activate discards from malarious monsters, which pretty much the whole extra deck is. And my whole deck is Miladius, except for the Honest, which I only use those for hand traps or defense. But I'm running two of those. One MST, one Fortress Cell, which is a pretty sweet card. It increases a monster's attack by 800, even if the card leaves the field. And I can use this card as a fusion material, so it's like a polymerization. It's pretty sweet. Uh, one fusion recovery, of course. I'm running polymerization, so I'm running one of that. The only reason I'm running one of it, only because I have the monster that can do it. So... That's how that works. Uh, one dark hole, so I can clear out uh, opponent field and like get rid of problems, and then one fusion tag. Last but not least, the trash melee solution. Like this thing makes you like wreck house. Like no spells or traps can affect your monster, and you get to attack twice. Sweet, just freaking sweet. And that's me, Melee's monster. Uh, I'm running one threatening roar stop attacks for the turn one Phoenix change so I can negate ability Imperial iron wall because we all know how they have bombless trap hole and all this other nonsense that you don't need uh, One compulsive ray evacuation device, which is standard and a call to hunted Moving on to the extra deck I'm running one bloom two blue diva a Malaya choir. This thing is like the boss monster of your deck well, this thing cannot be destroyed by card fix or by battle, so the only way you're destroying this thing is by banishing it, which is, of course, why the Imperial Iron Wall is in there. But anyway, uh, or negate its ability, or blah, blah, blah. We'll finish in. But anyway, it cannot be destroyed by battle card effects. Also, you take no bail damage from attacks involving this card. This card attacks a special summon monster. After damage calculation, you can inflict the damage to your opponent. Equal to the damage between the original attack of the opponent's monster and this card. And if you do, destroy the opponent's monster. So what this thing pretty much does is, let's say I attacked, uh, let's say, a Blue-Eyes White Dragon, the Synchro one. That's 2,500 attack points. So not only would the opponent be taking 1,500 attack point, uh, life points, because this thing only has 1,000, but the monster would be destroyed. And I don't take any damage whatsoever. It's a pretty sweet card. I'm running two of that. Uh, next, I'm running three Bloom Priva, the Malaya's Choir. This thing's like my side, my second monster I can go to, just in case I need to do that. Uh, really, this thing is just Nemo, and it just it's just like this one. I need some Malaya's Maestro monster and one other Malaya's monster or monsters. And the reason it says monsters is because this card gains standard attack for each fusion material used for its fusion summon. And this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. So let's say. This thing could attack twice. And then you go ahead and pull the Maledious Illusion. This thing could attack four times in a row, which is pretty freaking sweet. It's amazing. Uh, anyway, when this card is fusion, when this fusion summon card is, uh, since it's a graveyard, you can chuck one Malicious Monster in your graveyard and then add to your hand. So it's pretty sweet. You can bring back your Bloom Divas. You can bring back all your materials and all sorts of stuff. Uh, last but not least, for my Maledious Monsters, uh... I'm running my two Suburbia, the Mudeus Maestras. These are really just the banished cards in your opponent's oh, no. graveyard. And that's really all I use them for. And they're just 3k beaters. Because I can chuck up to three cards in my opponent's graveyard, banish them. And if I do, this card gains 200 attack for each one. I'm running two of them, so I banish cards in your opponent's graveyard, which you don't want and have any problems with. And that solves all of that. Next, I'm running three XYZs, number 44, Sky Pegasus, so I can destroy their monsters. Or they just take a thousand. Uh, they can choose. The number 102, uh, Star Scrap Sentry, it's a fairy type monster. It's light, it takes three level four light monsters, and once per turn, I can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target one face up monster your opponent controls, half its attack, negate its effects. So that's pretty sweet. And if this card be destroyed, you can detach all the choice of materials instead, and then if you do any battle damage you take this turn is halved. So not only do you get to save your monster, but then all the stuff you take is half. So it's pretty sweet. And then I'm running one fairy cheer goal. So only thing I use this for is I like to usually put it in defense mode and I just use a draw card if it survives another turn. And I use the other XYZ material and draw another card. That's really all I use it for though. And that's pretty much it. I'll be right back. Huh? I was making a YouTube video.
Okay, uh... Anyway, sorry about that. My mom was trying to figure out what the heck I was doing. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please comment down below and subscribe. And also be able to, like, tell me, like, how I make this deck better or anything. Because I've heard there are some people who have won deck tournaments with this deck and actually came out successful with it. So, if I can make any improvements to this deck, that'd be really good for you to tell me. Uh, so, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Silver Leafy on 9055 logging out. Peace.